Hi okay, everyone, my name is Melanie Kiss and if you have been following me you know that I actually post quite a few videos of my workouts or my food or things that I do uh, that is related to health, food and fitness. On Sunday I had a half marathon that I did, it went super well. Uh, I didn't beat the time that I wanted to. Uh, I, I went well, however, I think I could have done a lot better. I train every day and the days that I have off are usually active recovery days, uh, but I do move about every day. And so I came back from that half marathon and the next day I was feeling good, uh, getting stuff ready for the kids and school and so on and so forth. And I don't know what I did. Um, it happened overnight. I was just stretching and boom, I could not move. My entire neck and upper back was blocked. And so hence the lack of videos as well as my challenge for the, the push-ups. We all know the USDA recommends five to nine servings of fruit and vegetables daily. But who can manage to have nine servings? So hence the uh Well, we can help. Challenge for the push-ups, right? So I stopped doing that because I could move, could not move. I mean, my husband had to come and get me out of bed by pulling me from my my back and my neck. It, I, he couldn't even just pull me from my my arms. And so I was trying to stay obviously very positive about all this. I have this awesome, awesome sister-in-law who is an osteopath. So she helped me a lot uh, just get better. And uh, with all of that, I caught a really bad cold. I was like, wow, can every everything's piling on. However, I had to listen to my body and it's the longest that I've ever gone without a workout and that was four days. Four days, no workout. But it is as important to take care of our body and get the rest. Uh, it's important to sleep very well. Uh, it is all part of uh, a well-balanced lifestyle, right? So that being said, the last four days, uh, I had to recoup one from my pain, which lasted three days. Uh, and also my cold, which I was completely congested and couldn't breathe. So it's slowly getting better, but it's still kind of all congested in here and not fun at all. And I'm trying to get some sleep back into my system because I think the last time I was at home for more than two days was probably the beginning of July. So, or I was at work, or uh, when I got home, I was out again, away somewhere, and so it just never stopped, and I think uh, my body's talking to me and saying, take it easy. However, that being said, I feel a little better, and I am going to fit in a workout in today. It's 22 minutes, it's not too bad. I'm probably going to take it easy, but I am going to do it because I know it's just going to reactivate everything for me to feel better at this point so that being said thank you so much for following me and being patient and uh, I did not fall off of a planet without uh, giving you something here I'm telling the truth about what happens because I think it's important to not just talk about always the ooh the good and look at me I'm doing my workout and I eat super healthy that no you know what I sometimes get like this it doesn't happen often but it happens so I think it's important to talk about that as well so that being said off I go push play actually that's not even what's gonna push play this is what's gonna push play and uh, and do my workout ciao